Are you looking for a new football news app? I've already told you for the last two months that I'm looking for a football news app. Why are you still asking me this question? Then make sure to check out One Football down in the description below for all of your football news, transfers, and rumors. Whether you're a Liverpool fan, a Barcelona fan, or even an Alfreton Town fan, it has them on it as well. Just get it downloaded. So, hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you another list of FIFA 19 career mode wonder kids that you may have never heard of in your lives. I'm going to be bringing you another 12 hidden gems on the game mode that you should definitely look to invest in. They're all pretty cheap as well, they've got high potentials, the lowest potential in this I think is 84 or 85, so everybody is of good quality. If you go on to enjoy it, slap a like on the video and subscribe if you are new around here but first of all we've got I mean I'm not gonna lie we've got a knockoff player we've got we've got a BTEC Jota not the actual Diogo Jota that plays for Wolves there's a there's a new Jota on the horizon okay very pacey winger good dribbling and ball control for his overall which is only 71 but he has potential to grow to 85 so he might be a second coming of Jota, but he's still a very, very quality player with a good future ahead of him as far as FIFA 19 career mode is concerned. Can play on both wings, playing for Benfica over in the Portuguese league right now. Newly added, high attacking work rate and four star skill moves as well. A very good winger in terms of his pace, dribbling, skill moves and work rates as well. So he'll be good in sims and out on the pitch as well. Second player is Zinho van Hoosden. Don't know if I pronounced that right. I hope I have. Apologies to any Belgians or Dutch people that are offended by my pronunciation, but the Inter centre-back is out on loan to Standard Liège. Now, I'm going to be honest, I don't know much about this guy's transfer history, but I'm assuming he came through the Liège Academy, then got signed by Inter, and now they've loaned him back out. I don't know, that happens a lot in real life, but he's 72 rated, 18 years of age, and a lot of, a lot of people that follow the Belgian league say he's been one of the best centre-backs in the whole league, which is impressive at the age of only 18. Six foot one, very decent height, Good defensive stats on him, generally speaking, and has a potential to grow to 85 in career mode. So that's plus 13 growth. I'm sure you could train him even more than that. So what I didn't know about at all before making this video. And same with Steven Ustakio. Again, I'm not I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but I'm hoping I've done my best, okay? This guy, defensive mid, playing for Cruz Azul over in Mexico, Portuguese, 21 years of age, defensive midfielder, really good stamina as well as balance, jumping, and his strength is alright as well. His passing stats are really good but interestingly enough for a defensive mid his ball control and dribbling and some of his more classy stats are quite high as well so he's a bit more of an all-rounder he's got the defensive edgy side of his game he's got the passing side of his game but you can also do stuff with his feet as well which is always a defensive mid that I quite like to see on the game 73 overall 21 years of age and has potential to grow to 84 in career mode so definitely somewhat of a hidden gem I would have to say now player number four in this one is Rabi Matondo the Welsh winger who's just recently signed actually for Schalke from Manchester City's Youth Academy. This guy creating a heck of a lot of a buzz. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of players recently that have gone over to the Bundesliga from English football that have done really well for themselves, like of Jaden Sancho, Reese Nelson, Reese Oxford. There's a couple more like Emil Smith Rowe that have gone over recently as well. Matondo is yet another one, the very pacey winger who plays on the right hand side, is 17 years of age, 66 overall. Realistically, his pace and agility are his only big stats right now, but that's to be expected. He's only 66 rated. He's only 17 realistically. So he's not exactly going to be the finished package. He's got a lot of growing to do. And speaking of which, he's got a potential actually on career mode already of 85. He is very, very newly added to the game, but you won't be able to sign him straight away because he's recently joined. Lucien Agume is yet another one of those because he's 16. Now, I don't think I've ever known a time where you can sign a 16 year old on FIFA career mode because it always says they've recently joined, even if they've been in the youth academy of said team for about 10 of years of their life but I don't know if that's been the case with FC Sochaux's Agume. He's 59 rated to the lowest player in terms of overall in this video but because he's the youngest he's obviously going to grow by the most and he's got a potential to grow to 84 or 85 in career mode. Two star skill moves is a little bit of a turn off for an attacking midfielder but it's not exactly vital. If you've got PC you can always change that but obviously for you guys on the consoles and myself on the console usually then it's going to be a bit difficult sometimes with him as a number 10. Maybe you might want to push him back to being a centre mid instead. Right wing back Pedro Porro is next up. Brilliant name. I've got to say I'm loving the alliteration Pedro. 72 rated right wing back 
right back and right midfielder from Spain playing for Girona over in La Liga. Very decent stats on this guy already to say he's 72 rated, but I think that's because some of his defensive stats are a little bit lower. Having said that, he is a wing back, so you wouldn't expect him to be the finished article in terms of defensive play. You would expect him to be more of an attacking player. And if you want, you can play him just as a right winger or a right midfielder. That is completely up to you. High attacking work rate as well. Medium on his defensive might leave him a little bit open when it comes to like your opposition attacking down the wings. But usually, if you've got two wing backs, you've got three centre backs. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue regardless. He had 85 potential, which is the same as the man on the screen right now. Antonio Marin, the Croatian winger from Dinamo Zagreb. 64 rated. Wouldn't be on the, the game, obviously, sorry, if Zagreb hadn't been recently added to FIFA in the rest of the world section. You've got plenty of young Croatians coming through that squad. And Antonio is yet another one of those. Can play on both wings and as an attacking mid as well. 73 dribbling already is very impressive for a 64 rated player. So by the time he reaches his potential of 85, you can expect his dribbling to be up in a 90 somewhere. Flair and technical dribbler trait as you would expect probably for a, a dribbler as good as him. Three star weak foot four, no oh, sorry, three star skill moves four star weak foot. Medium attacking and defensive work rate for the 17 year old. Now we've got Benoit Badiashile of Monaco. 17 year old centre back playing in France obviously from France. Good jumping and strength already at 64. Now I don't think his pace is amazing. You can obviously train sprint speed these days but I reckon once he's hit his potential which I believe is 80 Four, you could probably see him with pace of around about uh, high 70s or low 80s, which is probably enough realistically for a centre back on this game. But his strength and jumping are really high already. Heading accuracy, really good, much better than his overall. His passing isn't bad. His defensive stats are pretty good as well. So he has the potential to grow into a really, really solid centre back in terms of playing him on the game as well, not just in Sims. High defensive work rate and low attacking work rate is underrated for centre backs, but it's really, really important. He won't meander forward. And he's already six foot four. Fam, six foot four. At 17, that's ridiculous. That's absolutely insane. Francisco Trincao doesn't exactly reach those heights in terms of actual height, but in terms of potential, he's going to be just as good. The Braga winger can play on both sides, 71 rated, good ball control, dribbling, his pace is okay, not quite as good as the likes of Jota and Matondo who we've seen earlier, but there's not as much of an emphasis on pace merchants as we've seen in previous FIFA, so having a player who's just got good ball control, dribbling, crossing, etc. is also good as a winger too. Flair, long shot taker and technical dribbling, Dribbler are his traits for the 18 year old. As I mentioned, 71 overall, but can grow to 85 in career mode. One of many Portuguese young talents added to career mode recently. He's also got four star skill moves like Jota before him and three star weak foot as well for the left footed winger. We move back to central midfield though now for Alessio Riccardi from Roma. The centre mid who can also play in the number 10 role is Italian, 61 rated and playing for Roma as I mentioned as a 17 year old. Physicals aren't all that impressive. His technicals are okay in terms of his passing stats but it, because his rating is so low it's it's often easy to look at his attributes and be like they're pretty average but they're all kind of similar so it looks as if he might develop into a decent all-rounder i think you'd probably have to train some of, his, some of his defensive stats a little bit if that's what you're wanting but equally he can play as an attacking mid as well so if you just want to mold him into a number 10 that's absolutely fine he's young enough and has of a low enough overall for you to be able to do that easily as you can see two star skill moves like agume earlier isn't exactly great but high attacking work rate is always good for a center mid who's a bit more of of an attacking minded player. But ultimate one in this video is Kijana Herva. Now, if you're a Liverpool fan, or a Wolves fan actually, you probably will know who this player is. I know who he is, because he came on to make his debut in our FA Cup defeat against Wolves recently, about a month ago, I want to say. And around about that time, he was also added to career mode. But a lot of people who don't follow the Premier League, don't really support a Premier League side, really definitely will not know who this player is. He has, however, got a pretty decent reputation amongst the Liverpool training camp. He's got a very good potential as well on career mode. Can grow to 85 like some of the other players in this video. Can play as a right back or as a centre back. In the game he played uh, against Wolves, I believe he was a centre back. But he, again, he can play as a right back. I think that's traditionally where he plays. Two star skill moves, three star weak foot, pretty irrelevant though really for a full back. His defensive stats though are pretty decent. You might want to train him a little bit, but his physicals are already onto a winner. The final player though in this video, number 12, is Florentino Luiz from Benfica. Yet again, another Portuguese talent. That's four in one video. In one video, that's actually impressive. Like uh, EA have really been on adding the Portuguese talents to career mode recently. The 18-year-old defensive midfielder is a bit more of a stock standard defensive midfielder, I would say. His dribbling and his ball control aren't 
as there, as we saw earlier on, for uh, Estacchio even. But his defensive stats are really, really solid. His traits are dives into tackle and long passer, but they are CPU AI only, so they won't really affect you personally unless you play up against him. High defensive work rate on this guy, medium attacking, and then two-star weak foot and two-star skill moves is very solid for a defensive midfielder. You don't particularly need all that much more than that. But that is going to wrap up today's video, showing you another 12 wonder kids that you may have never heard of on FIFA 19 career mode. If you enjoyed the video, slap a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. It's the big red button under the video and it massively helps me out. You can also follow me on social media these days too. My Twitter and Insta are at the official FNG and links are down below. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves, and goodbye. <laughs>